Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 13th of 2022, well, it is titled Webb's first deep field. So what do we see here? Well, here is one of the first images released from the James Webb Space Telescope. Now this is showing an exposure that was 12 and a half hours worth of time looking at a distant galaxy cluster. So when we look here, we are seeing mostly galaxies. Almost everything that you see in this image is a galaxy. There are a few stars that happen to be in the same direction. And you can note those by the diffraction spikes going through them, that star cross pattern that we see going through them, which is a result of the uh, mirror segments that are used for the James Webb Telescope. And so those are stars, but everything else that we see in there is a galaxy. And in fact, we're looking at a galaxy cluster nearly 5 billion light years away. Now we have to take a step back and think about what that means when we are looking at something 5 billion light years away. We do not see it as it is today, but instead as it was 5 billion years ago. And that's because it takes light that long to travel to us from the distant galaxy cluster. And that is not the most distant objects that we see here. You'll note a lot of distorted galaxies. Many of them seem to be very oddly shaped. And that is because they are even more distant galaxies, nearly 10 billion light years away. And their light is traveling through the gravitational well of this other cluster in the foreground, the one that's only about 5 billion light years away. And when it does that, it is distorted. It's what we call gravitational lensing as the light passes through the gravitational well of the galaxy cluster. And therefore, we distort those images. And in fact, some of them are actually multiple images of the same galaxy. Now that takes experimenting and checking them and making more detailed measurements to find out what, which ones are exactly the same. But some of them are actually multiple images of the identical galaxy. So here we have again one of the early images of from the James Webb telescope which was launched late last year and is now up and operational and starting to give us some new information. So just as Hubble telescope did 30 years more than 30 years ago uh, when it revolutionary revolutionized what we knew about the universe James Webb will likely be doing something similar. James Webb is significantly larger telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope was a 2.4 meter mirror. And this is 6.5 meters more than twice the size of the Hubble telescope, meaning that it can collect more than four times the amount of light uh, from any given uh, object that we're looking at and see objects that are many times fainter objects that would not even be visible to the Hubble telescope are now visible to the James Webb telescope. And it can also observe objects with a much shorter exposure time because it is collecting that much more light. It will be able to see those objects and collect the light that would have taken Hubble, say, many days that this would take day or less in order to be observed. So we look forward to seeing what comes and other images from the Webb Space Telescope over the rest of this year. So that was our picture of the day for July 13th of 2022. It was titled Webb's First Deep Field. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be closer to home. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.